Oh, we're changing visual style again. Oh, we're actually just kind of 2D animated here. Okay, she was a dragon with love hearts. And it turns out that my. the guy who turned up to drive me was actually a Power Ranger. Yeah, that's pretty much the look on my face right now, too. Um, so here's the second boss fight of the game. An enormous dragon. And I, don't, I don't even I don't even know. It's not even close to anything else we've actually done before. This is actually a shooty part of the game. So we basically sit and shoot. And I'm going to show you exactly where you need to be to do really well. Basically, this boss has... I can't shoot yet, can I? I can now. Um, this boss has three weak points, and I should really be looking, watching where those projectiles are coming from. Uh, you got the, the wings, you got wings, you've got stomach, go down here somewhere, uh, legs, and you got tail. As you can see, she consistently throws things at you. If you stay on the bottom too long, she will stick her tail out. If you get too close, her tail will be swung up and you'll get hit. Um, but really, any part of her is able to be hit at any time. Um, so now that I've taken out her wings, you gotta get down in this corner here. Well, that corner down there, or the top left hand corner, but for some reason I feel safer down in that corner. Um, so now she's going to use a big attack like that and I can only hit her legs and her tail now um, I mean you can hit whatever part of her you like really so there you go that's the second part she'll fly off and now she'll go down the exact middle of the screen so you just want to be up either the top of the screen or the bottom there we go she doesn't really mix it up too much, um, so now you got to shoot the uh, the tail, I think is what's left. Yep, see, done, no worries. Um, as you can see, each part is cumulative as you fight her, so you can basically knock, if you do an equal amount to everything, I'll go up in the top corner this time, because you're going to do a diagonal attack. Um, it's cumulative though, and now this is the final step of the fight, she uses a lot more hearts and projectiles than that, but basically you can only hit her in the head, so... Ah, there's that attack. Good to stand there. Uh, those hearts, man. Those hearts. There we go. And that's it. You're done. No worries at all. Oh, really? It's a high score. Alright. I mean... There's a reward for uh, beating her without getting hit at all. I mean, I did get hit once, but... Uh... Whoa, um, the production of this just switch over to DeviantArt or something? Because the quality of those drawings kind of just went down. Oh no! Oh, if 
I only knew who he was. Whoa, I'm kind of freaking out here. some experimental noise, man. I don't even know what's... Uh, uh. And who are you? Oh, he's going to be that guy. I think he just turned into Beavis for a second there. Alright. <laughs> Whoa, super transformation! Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, I think I just raided uh, Google for a uh, strange anime and got all this. trying to think of something to say here but what can you say to that I oh back to 3d okay um I guess they ran out of art <laughs> I mean clearly they ran out of artistic talent a little while ago but I mean like you know like maybe they went back to the original <laughs> 50 years what the what is happening does anybody, any, please write in the description what is happening in this game? I'm trying to understand. Really, I am. I'm trying to focus on exactly what to do here. I mean, she went to kill her dad. Okay, I get it, right? I get it. She went to a hotel so that she can get to the other hotel across the way and shoot him. She did it. He was dead. And then she fought a dragon. And now we're running again at Mount Fuji. Uh... And now there's an enormous dog chasing us! Uh... <laughs> I guess it's no different than the ghosts and demons and things, but... I see how the dog stops for a second when we hit a wall. It's very kind like that. shooting dogs in the face, but I mean, what else are you going to do? I do appreciate this level has a little mini video in the um, bottom right -hand corner so you can see what's coming. That's uh, very handy.
Oh, that dog just left upwards. Also, about Colin Hunt Dark, guys, if you're playing a level and you grab all the chests, but then you die, you lose them all. You don't get any of them. So you gotta finish the level with the concept chests. we've reached uh, whatever that door was that we saw in the last cutscene. Got some new art. That's pretty good. Um, <laughs> I mean, guys, really, at this point, do you blame me for skipping all the cutscenes in this? Do you honestly blame me, like, expect me to understand what's going on, even if you're, like, really... <laughs> 